Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're looking to find the equation of motion of a particle whose motion is given by this. S is measured in meters, and it's being tracked over t time, which is measured in seconds. So firstly, we're going to find the velocity and acceleration as a function of t. To do that, we have to understand that v, the velocity, is equal to the derivative of the position of the motion. So to find the velocity, we have to take the derivative of this function here. So this is just four power functions, if you think of t to the one there. So we just have to do the same thing four times, add and subtract them all together, and we'll get our derivative. So for this first time, we have one t to the fourth, I'm mentioning that there's one because we have to put the coefficient out in front. We bring down the exponent, bring down the four, and then your new exponent is going to be the old one, minus one. Now we just repeat this. In this case, the coefficient is negative two. Bring down the exponent is three times t to the three, your old exponent, minus one. Plus one t squared, bring down the exponent. The new exponent is the old one, minus one. Once again, coefficient here is negative one, exponent is one. The new exponent is the old one, minus one. Now simplifying this, we get four, one times four is four, t to the four minus one is t cubed, minus two times three is six, t to the three minus one is t squared, plus two t to the two minus one is t to the one, which is just t, minus one t to the zero. t to the zero is just one, so this is negative one times one, so it's just minus one. Now to find the acceleration, we have to find the derivative of the velocity. And okay, that's just this function right here. Again, it's just power functions, similar thing. And going with this term, we have the coefficient out in front times the exponent with t to your new exponent, three minus one. Repeating this, minus six is your new coefficient. Exponent is two t to the 2, your old exponent, minus 1, plus 2 times 1 being your exponent, times t to the 1 minus 1, and then the derivative of a constant is just 0, so we can ignore that. There would just be a plus 0 at the end, which we don't really have to worry about. The, and simplifying the acceleration, we get 4 times 3 is 12, t to the 3 minus 1 is t squared, minus 12, t to the 2 minus 1 is t, plus 2 times 2 to the 0 is plus 2. Now finding the acceleration, after one second, we have our acceleration function, so we just have to plug in one for t. 12 times one squared minus 12 times one plus two. 12 times one squared is 12 times one is 12. Minus 12 times one is minus 12 plus two is equal to zero plus two is equal to two. Now, since you have the motion, you have the velocity, you have the acceleration, you can graph these on the same screen it's not really going to come in on the video with a graphing calculator, but you can just plug this into your calculator. That's what it means on the same screen, and you'll see the functions. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.